Hey everybody, Shama32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the third episode of season one of Blake 7. Now, I will admit I have forgotten the name of the episode, but it's not a bad thing. I believe it had Cygnus Alpha in it, but apart from that, I don't know. So, no spoilers. I'm like, kind of guessing we would be, I kind of guess we would be going to Cygnus Alpha anyway, because at the end of the episode, Blake said we're going to go rescue the other prisoners. Now, I don't know how many they're going to be able to rescue because, well, we only need the number of the people in the title is seven. And we've got three on the ship. I'm assuming Villa is going to be one of them. I'm so annoyed that they just like went off or they were starting to go off and they were like, Villa's still on the ship. Gan? Was Gan dead? I can't remember. If, is it Gan? I don't think Gan's one of them. That's how you say his name, but the big scary guy. I can't remember if he got killed or not. My mind's gone blank on that subject, and it's annoying. Uh, I was annoyed when they left Villa. I was like, but Villa's still there. I know he's part of the crew. I knew he was part of the crew because he's in the image on... He was literally the only member of the crew at the, at the end of, or beginning of last episode that I knew was in it, because apart from Blake, obviously, because he was in the image, and he was the only one I recognised from the image on the splash page for I2VX and for Brook Box. So I was like, what the... What? Does he come back in later? What? So I'm confused. I'm assuming they go back and they manage to get Villa out. But apart from that, no idea. The ship is so freaking cool. It's so gorgeous. It looked just like the bridge is different. It looked like the ship itself is gorgeous. It's so cool. Um, Ker... Ker Avon? Or Ker Avon? Or Avon. You, if you saw the end, my last reaction, you know that I struggled with trying to remember how to pronounce it. As I said before, though, I struggle with names sometimes. With classic Doctor Who, it took me a while to work, like, remember 100% which one was Susan, which one was Barbara. Even though I knew Susan was a granddaughter before watching it, I still kept tripping over it as I was watching. And it's really annoying. So apologies if I pronounce his name wrong. I've heard both parts of his name pronounced different ways multiple times in the past. So it's kind of like tri tripping my mind up a bit and I'm just terrible at remember things anyway. But he was really interesting. Like he's looking out for himself, but he's not he's not 100% like unwilling to do good. I feel because when um Blake said it to him at the end of the episode, we could with the ship, we could do some real good or something along those lines. You saw the look on his face was like, oh, he was actually considering and he wouldn't like, oh, God. Like, well, I have to. I'll go along with it. He actually seemed to like think of it like, oh, I can. Like he almost like he hadn't even considered it before, you know, like a possibility. Not that he hadn't considered like going, oh, I want to do good, but he hadn't considered it a possibility that he was going to be able to. He was really cool, really cool character. I really like. I think possibly my one of my favorite parts of the episode was where um. I think it was Gan, the big guy, was like with the two guards and he tells the other ones coming around the corner, drop your weapon, so Villa dropped his. It was so funny and it was just perfectly timed and so in character for what we'd seen so far from Villa. It was so funny. I In the first episode, he really annoyed me, but like he really annoyed me, like going, I knew like that's his character, I'll probably grow to like him, but I liked him quite a lot by the end of the episode. It was just really funny. Like, rather like, like those characters are annoying, but they're really funny. If they're played right and written right, annoying, or it's not really annoying. I don't know, but he's just, I really liked him by the end. But, oh, I'm trying to avoid thinking about the character I don't like from that last episode. If you've seen the reaction, you know who I am talking about. King Raker. Oh, that creep. I thought he was going to, like, try to take over from the captain or something like that. For the most part, the captain seemed like a reasonable man. He's, he, yes, he seemed like going... He told Raker about the what, being a female, and he said, be discreet. I don't know if he meant be discreet as in, offer a place, maybe she'll like you. Or if he knew what kind of person he would do, because he would end up being, because Raker did say, I can be very persuasive. He did hit her, things like that. He was, I was so glad he got stuck out into space. I was hoping somebody would shoot him. I don't know what would have been good enough, you know? Or if sucking him out into space was too good for him. 
I really didn't like him. But the um Leslie Oh god, isn't I've forgotten his surname. I'm so Schofield, that's it. But he was fantastic as the role. He was so good. But then again, as if you saw, if you saw the reaction, you know, I realized where I knew him from. He was a member of the Empire in Star Wars, so he's good at that. And I can't remember much about his character in EastEnders. I just remember seeing him in it. But he was really good. The captain was really good, too. The acting's great in this. The acting's really, really good. I really like the sets. They're not overly complicated. Like, even the ship, like, their spacecraft. I can't... The Liberator? I swear I've seen it written down somewhere but Seven's ship is it, like it looks futuristic but it's if you look at each individual bit it's not that complicated it's really nice it's different there's a lot of seats I think there's I kind of like there's like five like ones where like I swear I'm Kerr or Kerr or um, him <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, re I will get. I will get the pronunciation of his name eventually. After I've heard it said multiple times, but he was like just seemed to be stood up in his seat. So maybe there you can. There's somewhere they're stood up in the with the controls, or maybe you've got the like the op option. Anyway, there was like five of like, them with like the back, the black backs, and then there was like three white seats at the front that were just like looked like they were just lounging seats, no like captain seat type thing. So there didn't even seem to be like a captain in charge seat, which is nice. They're like, or like that kind of plays into how I think it's gonna be. Like, yeah, um, Blake's been like in the past. He was like a mar like, not martyr, but they that's what they didn't want to make him into by killing them. That's why he went to the prison colony. Col col colony. My God, I'm stumbling over my words today. But um. Even though he was like a iconic character for the rebellion and that, I still feel like if this would be like playing to it, like he'd want them all to work together, all would be equal, all be part of the decisions and all that sort of stuff. So that kind of like layout of the ship seems like it'd work well. Now, assuming Villa's going to be a member of the group, that's four members, which means there's three more to get. My mind doubted it for a second. I was like, oh, please tell me I just uh, said that right and added it up properly. But the way my head's stumbling over things, it would not surprise me if I did my math wrong. I'm terrible at math. But um, I'm assuming there's three more. Because Villa's got to be a member of them. I could just tell. And not just because I saw him in the pictures. Because that could mean he would reappear later on. I just feel like he's he's got to be a main character. Then again, I thought the lawyer in the first episode was the main character. I'm still annoyed by that. That guy was so good. I'm going to continuously be annoyed by that. I hate it. Like, it was really well done. But it's so annoying when I really, really, really like a character. And like in the first episode or the end of the first season, they get killed off. I've had it happen with Arrow as well. Like... But that, I knew which character was going to go before I went into it. I knew which character was, and I still end up being my favourite. Ah! But yeah, I don't know who... I can't wait to meet who we would be getting joined in the gym. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. I don't know if we're going to meet the final three members in this episode, or if it's going to be another episode after this. I like it. See, like, it's not all in one go. It's like a nice steady pace, not all crammed into one. It's really good. This is so good already. Like, I was so worried about last episode if I was going to like it as much as I liked the first, because the first one just really gripped me right in. But it did. It carried on being just as good. And you guys have all said that I'm going to love it. It stays good. So I'm trusting you guys. <laughs> I am. Um, also, I want to thank everybody who subscribed since last episode. That's so cool. That's awesome. Thank you so much. It's crazy. But it's awesome. Thank you. Oh, God. I'm nervous about watching this episode because I don't know what's coming next. And again, I'm worried that I'm... Every episode, I'm going to be like, going, oh, please don't be bad. Please don't be bad. Please like it as much as the last. Because of that feeling, I'm worried. I'm so nervous. I don't know 
what's going to happen next. And I'm so excited. I really like this. The characters are great. And I can't wait to meet more. And to learn more about this world. And I can't wait. I love it. Already. Oh, I really don't know where it's going. I can't wait. Well, I know it's going. It's going to Sickness Alpha. That was one thing I remembered last episode was the word Sickness Alpha. I was quite proud of myself. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. I'm so turning up the volume on my headphones till I really like this theme. It's so cool. And that was why I knew that was their ship. I love that yellowish kind of like look to it. I really like that. And as somebody said, it's the Starfleet insignia on the side, but I love that little flare in the music at the end. Cygnus Alpha by Terry Nation again. Okay. I was right. That was a whole title. Hey. I wasn't, I was overthinking it before. What's going on now? What are they looking for? There. There it is. Are they workers or do they just live on that planet? Prisoners. New souls for the faith. Wait, what? This ship is so cool. Can't to see more of it. Oh, oh. What? I wonder if we're going to see more of what they like, they were drawn to. That thing that was making that everybody except for Blake see something. Storage space? Possibly. Oh. Whoa! Careful. Did they open it up? That was weird. Ooh. What is that? It's a bit elaborate for a toothpick. <laughs> Depends how elaborate their teeth were. Very true. Ow. That one's hot. Recently been used? That one is there. Jenna, take that one there. Be careful, though. It may be hot. No, I don't think so. Oh. No, it isn't. Single function isomorphic response. What? what? I think he means it'll only let us have one gun each. Oh, that's a cool idea. You're a free man. That's right. So I am. Oh, come on. Ring? How does she handle, Jenna? It's a bit scary. It's almost as if she were alive. Oh. And I must say, all this technology Ooh, like has idea. an organic feel about it. The window, like, the outside looks a bit organic too, to be honest. Well, don't blame me if it's self-destruct. I doubt they'll ever speak to you again. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Whoa, what was that? Whoa! Oh, whoa! <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Well, they're going like ridiculous speed or something. Whoa, they are. Oh, it's different to see an effect on the people inside it. Or is it because they're not sat down in certain seats? Did you get a blackout effect? Yes. So did I. Negative hyperspace. Negative hyperspace? That's impossible. That's what they said Antimatter. about the area. Whoa. Try that one. It's a good idea. I want to strap myself in a seat, but okay. Something of an anticlimax. Blake, I can't move my hand. Don't touch her. Just in case there's a static effect. It's mixed with something else. It's, it's in my head. He did say they think it's organic. Somebody compared it to like um, Andromeda and the TV series and that. Completely known. It's like innocence. Welcome, Jenna Stannis. Whoa! I like he immediately picks up a gun. Your species requires a visual reference point. Blake. This is your reference point. Whoa! As you say, Care Avon. Care Avon. Avon. Standard speed. Confirmed. That's done it. Seems we're on course now. Whoa, okay. That's pretty it, it, wow. Okay, I get the the um comparing it to um Farscape and Andromeda now. I'm really intrigued by this aspect now as well. Like, is it a prison colony or they talk to a bit about a prison because they is it like a cult? And it's kinda of like a prison because they're not allowed to leave. Huh. I'm really intrigued. No, I have no idea why I, ex I expected a typical prison 
colony type place. Right. I'll program the computer for the return. We lift off in D plus 30. D plus 30? Sir, yeah. we've been in space now for eight months. Eight months? It took eight months to get there. Eight months? Okay, no wonder last on the guard seemed very familiar with Villa. The molecular structure of Aquitar appeared to contain the key to the reduction that the type of things? matter as pure energy. Instant Ooh. Send solid objects. Oh, transporters. Well, they got to be wearing those, I take it. And if they have, could we teleport down to the surface of the planet without ever having to land the ship? And risking the ship. Hello. Test. One, One two, two, three. three. Oh. Let's ask the computer how the system works. Blake, I think you better come. What's up? We stopped. What? Everything's gone dead. Oh no, what's happened? I really love the rest of the whole ship. So cool so far. The Liberator. Got that from me. It was something I was thinking. Your thought was acceptant. Nice. You require the remote visualization unit. Yes. Please look at the screen. There we go, yeah. What's the alternative? Leave. I'm free, and I intend to stay that way. And I need a crew. Zen, how does the teleport system work? Would its function be injurious to our species? Have you the necessary data? Wisdom must be gathered. It cannot be given. Don't philosophize at me. <laughs> hey, be nice to her. Zen! Zen! I don't think he likes you somehow. I like Zen already. I'm going to have to risk the teleport system. Come on. Lucky it'll do it if you don't. Hurry. Okay, where's Villa? There he is, and there's Gan. Nice. If you all complain, do you think they give us a refund? Shut <laughs> up. Don't you see the funny side of it? He's playing it so well. He plays it so well that he's not quite too annoying, you know? Because if you touch him again, I'm going to break your arms and legs off. I like Gan. like him. Well... What do you think it'll be like, Arco? Well, how should I know? It won't be good, will it? Mm. They don't put penal colonies on easy living. But is it penal colony or is it just like going, there you go, here's new people, but I'm so confused and intrigued. It's like something rotten. Dinner, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, it's quite a high wine for us. I can only imagine how bad it must be in that person. Have a good bye to them. I like the cap. The captain was an interesting character. I liked him. Not sure 100%, but he seemed like mostly a decent person. What now? What else is there? I mean, we don't have much choice, do we? Have a look at it. Get a sense of where you are. Make a plan if need be. That's the same kind of gate um, entryway that was for the tunnels in the first episode. Whoa, okay. Different, different floor in there. Ooh, that'd be what the smell is. Someone beckoning. Do you see it, Gan? Yeah. Oh, they're gone. I saw something. There you are. Well, we're going to have to see what's out there sooner or later. It's a good point. you got to get an idea of where you are. Gan! You all right? Gan! He might be in trouble. Come on. Shouldn't we wait a bit longer? I mean, he might be all right. Come Maybe on! Maybe chance to the rest of us, Stan. Come on. Uh, yeah, come look, on, Villa. Uh, look, wouldn't it be better if we all stayed together? Then you gotta go with them then. Arco! Great oath. Why couldn't he stay here? Arco! <laughs> I do like him. I have no idea what I, I... Like I said, I just expected a typical prison colony, but nothing like this. Gan? Gan, what is it? What the fuck? Is it like a cross? Obviously it's like a cross, but what have they done to them? So perish unbelievers. Oh, it's a cult. It's like a cult. Cult. You start... You follow along with everything or you die like that. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Oh, my God! See, that was... Freaky. I still think this is a stupid risk. What a choice I'm it. taking. Hey, he's not telling him to do it. He'll do it himself. But there is a possibility he might leave. But then again, would Zen leave with one of the com the communicator things gone? He might not let them leave. 
Come on. Oh, well, ooh. oh, I like that effect. That's cool. It's different. It's not like a typical, like, or not like other transporter effects, like in Star Trek and that. I like it. Oh, fuck. Oh, really? They didn't see him there? I wonder how many of those people are like, do believe, or if they're just going along with it so they don't get killed. They're being scared into submission. Shit. At least be quiet. Deserter. Kill him. No. No, he's not a deserter. Oh, no. How is he moving that quickly, or do they just all look the same? Time's up. Keep it pressed down. I am keeping it pressed down. Well, it can't be the right one. Then which one? I don't know. Try that one. Here. I like the transporter effect. And now we know how the system works, I'll go back down and find our people. Bring back anybody who wants to come. From the little I did see, they won't take too much persuading. Is it just by bit just getting seen? They get converted, and that's why. Oh god, that's what happens, isn't it? Like Keith can't remember, and he's like gonna help them get back up to the ship so they can spread their belief. They've got way off the ship now. Shit. Neil. No. He did see it. I don't blame him. Are they going to break them all out of the trance or whatever it is that happens to them? That's not... Transferring something over to him? God has prepared a place for you. What the... Bre oh, he's like, ooh, kisses. Well... I like God's taste in servants. <laughs> oh, what's going to happen? Okay, he's got one of them. I'm really confused because he didn't mention anything about the people. Did they do something to him? Oh, God. What's coming on now? Only from his can hand comes life. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a cult, isn't it? It's a cult. Is it? I don't know. I'm so... Oh, God. I might jump. If I jump and not my microphone, I do apologise. They're going full on cult with this episode, aren't they? We're going to have Dracula come out? Seems like it. With the decor. Oh, that's an old pistol. What? That's a really old pistol. Has the person been here? His blessings are upon hey, you. He, he. And he will hear you. I am thy true servant. So I'm going to listen to that iconic voice. It is he who must be obeyed. We thank you. Okay. So I did not expect this. What the what? I would imagine that they would appear momentarily in space and then that their atoms would be scattered to the solar winds. Why don't you go and do a little exploring? I'll keep an eye on things here. You wouldn't be trying to get rid of me. Of course she. Of course she's to trying to get rid of me. first. You're next on my list. Is he saying it seriously or is he just making it being humorous or something? Could you kill someone? Face to face, I mean. I don't know. Could you? one sure way of finding out. Oh, I like it. He knows you're there. He's already seen you. Good plan. Good plan. What is the sickness? I feel like Gan might try and stay. He seems a bit different. What is it? What's the matter with everybody? How did you get here? Never mind that now. What's wrong? Disease. Something in the atmosphere. All new arrivals get it. What can it be cured? The priests have given us a drug. A drug? Like the Federation? We can't leave here. What are you talking about? The sickness. We're all infected. No, you're not. To survive, we have to be treated with a drug every day for the rest of our lives. Just like the Federation. I can, I can offer some of them a chance to get off here. They might agree. It's worth a try. I'll have to persuade them. Now, you rest now. I'll be back. 
He's suspicious of that. It's a drug like the Federation. Avon! Oh, she found clothes. Nice. What? I'm glad to see you haven't been wasting your time on frivolities. Oh, come on. Like, you didn't want to change your clothes. There's another room you should see while you're down there. At the far end. You might find it interesting. Now, is she actually being serious with that, or is it a threat? Your possessions are forfeit. I found these. Whoa. Fascinating. Some sort of body adornment. I think there's more to him than meets the eye. He's lying and controlling everybody else, maybe. Ah. Shit. Oh, no. That's one person that can't get back now. How did you get here? I was a prisoner on the Federation ship. Another person? Shit. It is a spacecraft. I was a prisoner on the Federation ship. With two others, I escaped and we took control of a ship. It seems unlikely, but it has the ring of truth. Oh, no. My followers obey without question. They worship me. Or fear you. The two are inseparable. Why you? He's controlling I'm, them all. I'm directly descended by the truth. Oh, fuck off, like you are. My ancestors came here on that first shipment. They had nothing. Fifty and years. Gave them no tools, no this time? So they worked together. Change. They like... worked hard! And made a community! Oh, this time, like, travel or transpired differently here. I can't think of the right word, I'm sorry. All they had achieved was being destroyed. And it was my great-great-grandfather who found a way to unite them. He gave them a religion. Brought them together in the love so, and yeah, fear time, of God. Like, that is the line different I here. stem from. That is what gives me the right to rule. Hell of a fucking voice. I love him. I need those men. I must have a crew. No! This society needs people. New blood, muscle and sinew to work the land. Human souls are the only currency. Currency? A oh, fucking hell. What do you want? Power! Oh, that you already have. <laughs> yes! But to take the word beyond, to gather followers in you. You want the shit. New disciples bound together and obeying the one true God. He is terrifying, Brian Blessed. He has defied the word. Teach him what happens to unbelievers. Teach him! Oh my fucking god. They're gonna talk. Oh my god. And this is just a sample. There must be almost as much wealth in that Whoa. single room as there is in the entire Federation banking system. Look at it. You could buy a lot of freedom with this. You could buy anything with this, anything at all. Think of it, Jenna. They could buy the freedom of the people down there, so Brian Blessed's character can buy a ship. He's a crusader. He'll look upon all this as just one more weapon to use against the Federation. And he can't win. You know he can't win. What do you want to be? Rich or dead? She won't leave. Give us a hand, will you? Of course it was gone. What's the matter with you? So. Arcavilla. You're an unbeliever. That madman wants the ship. Give him that and we're finished. We're finished already. They're not going to give us the drug unless you do as they order. Without it, we die. No, you fucking don't. But you're not taking me down with you. I'm getting out. I'm better off without you. Even if we got away, we wouldn't have the drug. I know where it's kept. How long will it last? That ship up there. It's the most advanced design I've ever it, Yeah, it, exactly. It could replicate it. Because there is no way I am going to order that ship to land. But the choice is very simple. You can either fight or you can die. He's so well, freaking good. Well, I'm with you. Yay! I'm surprised Gam was with him. I thought Gam was the one that was most convinced to be on that side of things. Oh, come on. There's no point in waiting any longer. Don't leave! No! I'm hoping that that's them. Because one of them was walking strangely. Uh, that is them. That is so them. They haven't all got their hands in the same positions. And that's Ga Gan? Or 
or that's them. They're part of them anyway, because we missed that bit where they came and got them. Oh, Lord of our people. That's got to be them, they isn't it? This sacrifice. They're there somewhere anyway. Come on. Come on, Gan. He's got something in under there. Underneath where he's got his hand because it's positioned underneath there. And he's just lying there. He reached up and stopped now, it. Get, the bracelets. get it, Gan. Come on. I've got a feeling Gan's going to like sacrifice himself to let the others escape. Oh, nice punch. Get us up there and quick. Make it fast. Easy. We lose it all. Come on, Avon. 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 They're, they're saying it differently. Oh, no. Got one. No. They've all got one. Come on, Villa. You grab one. Put it on quick. Good. Okay, Villa's okay. I like how Villa's hiding. Don't blame him. I do not blame him at all. Oh, no. She warned him. No, poor woman. Yes, Villa. Come on, you did it. He helped him. He was brave. But there's only one way for it. You and Gan run. Out there. Hide among the rocks. Anywhere. At least in the dark, you've got a chance. I'm going back in to get the gun. They'll kill you. Gan, when I give the word, let go of the door. Blake, we'll all be killed. Gan, do as I tell you. Now! Oh, come on, Blake. Come on. Where's... Oh, God. Brian Bless has got the gun, hasn't he? Shoot the ship thing. Is it controlling them? Oh, it's controlling them all. No? Oh, nice move. He hasn't got the wrist thing. He hasn't got a wrist thing. Oh no, he's gonna have to get off of Brian Blessed. Get the ship moving. Now take the ship down to the surface. We're already moving away. Then get it back. Let him trans back. Let him step back a bit further. Put him, in, put him outside the distance. That's why they mentioned it earlier. A simple compound. The disease is a mild poison that clears itself. But for centuries, the followers have believed in the disease, believed in the cure, just as you have believed. So you and those before you built your power on fear and ruled them. Put, put them outside the distance, just like they spoke about earlier. Come on. But with this, with this, I could rule a thousand planets for that prize. Do you think I would hesitate to kill you? Come on, transport him now. Back to Cygnus Alpha. Do it now. I was their priest. I shall return to them and There we are. In space. Whoa. Okay, that's one word shot. I should have known that, that there was a reason they said about that earlier. Information. Sensors register that Liberator has been scanned by detector oh. beams. A fleet of ships is approaching Shit. and has changed course towards this system. I like how it warned them, though. Set a course to take us away from them. Maximum speed. Course and speed confirmed. With our speed, we'll probably outrun them. This time. But they'll keep coming. Pushing us, tracking us. They'll never give up. Nor will we. When we can handle this ship properly, we'll stop running. Then we'll fight. Now, has he been told that... He was... Let me just pause it. Now, did Jenna tell him that... Um, I, I, they really haven't helped with me pronouncing his name. Because they've said it, like, at least two different ways this time. I swear it's Avon. But I swear Blake also said it Avon. We'll explain why I got confused. And they have not helped. But, um... Does Blake know that he's been, he was going to take them away and he almost tried to stop her? I feel like he might wear down. Like, I know somebody in the comments at one point referred to him as an anti-hero, which I get. But I'm kind of hoping he will come around at least slightly. Still think of himself mostly, but he is helping them doing what they want as a way of helping himself. That was not what I expected. I get, I 
like I said earlier, I did expect it to be just like a typical um prison colony. Co colony. No, I'm, I'm wondering, was Brian Blessed telling the truth about how he was descended from someone and was time really like going at a different speed on this planet? Or was that all a lie as well to help in the hopes that he was going to help convert Blake with the belief of a disease? Or was that all a lie? I don't know. I'm I am surprised that it was Gan that was the first one to go say, okay, I'll help you, Blake. Because he seemed like to be the one that was most like converted. Or was it just like a thing between the woman and Gan? Because she warned Gan that he was going to get hurt. And then she was hurt herself. Like, when she, like, for a split second, when she warned him, I thought, okay, oh God, you need to get her out of there too. Because she sympathizes, she didn't want him getting hurt. But then she was killed. That seemed like a what, why type thing. But it's interesting. So, like, everybody else died except for Gan and Villa. I do like Villa. He's grown on me very quickly. <laughs> Yeah, he's a coward, but, but he's a coward, but he did save Blake. He did kill that man that he looked at the blade like, oh my God, what did I do? But he did it. So he was brave. He can be brave. He just, most of the time he is a, he's a coward or afraid. He's got very, he's ruled by fear in a way. So I've just watched Doctor Who. There was a lot of thing about fear in that episode too. So like kind of like just made a connection there for a split second. But I really do like Villa. Like first episode, couldn't stand him. Or I, I I like I like I said earlier, I think I thought he was gonna be a character that I might grow to be alright with it, but I really like him. I do, I like I like Villa. But everybody's so good in this. I like the sound of Zen. Seems like an interesting concept, but I do get the... Um, I can't remember who it was, I do apologise, but somebody did say this was like a precursor in a way to like Andromeda and Farscape, and I get that now. I really do get that, and I definitely see it. I definitely see that. That was a really good episode. I'm kind of thrown, to be honest. I'm not sure what to think of it right now. I really enjoyed it, but I don't know 100% what to think of it right now, because it was not what I expected at all. I had a preconceived notion of the stereotypical, oh, it's prison colony, it's got to be cells, it's got to be working a mine maybe, or it's just got to be a prison, I don't know. Was it a cult? But did they, do they have a deal with Brian Blessed? I don't know. Or did they just, is it, did they not know that Brian, maybe Brian Blessed is a, a, was a scientist before he got there and he was on the first prison ship that landed there and he used whatever chemical was in those bubbling like puddles to make the poison, and that's how he controlled everybody else. I don't know. I really don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> that's all I can think right now. But I, that was really interesting. So it was like a, not monster of the week, but you know what I mean? Like that kind of like concept, like monster of the week, situation of the week with the overarching story plot in the background. But it wasn't in the background. It's kind of like e e equal footing. Which was really cool. I really did think Gan was going to be like sacrificing himself or something like that. So, like he was going to hold back the door and say like, you guys leave, run now. I'll, I'll hold them back for you. But no, he's on ship and I like that. I did. I just. Sorry, it's bewildered me this episode because it really was not what I expected at all. But it was really good. And I, I, we still haven't got seven. Two, three, four, five. We've got five. I feel like Gan might not be a final member. I don't know. But he's there for now, at least. So we're at least getting two more. I don't know where they're going next. What are they going to do now? They've got to keep running, obviously, because they've got the Federation in, um, ships on their tail. But I'm really bewildered by that episode. In a good way. Like, I'll get, I'll get more in, like, in tune with, like, how it was. But edit it. It's just the first view, and I'm like, oh my god, I did not expect that at all. Oh. I hope I wasn't the only one that was bewildered by like this episode. Like, 
okay, that's not what I expected. But then again, back then, I don't know what preconceived notions and stereotypes and cliche things were. I don't know. But that was really good. And I'm really intrigued what's going to happen next. And like the dynamic of them being on the ship with Avon. I'm going to say Avon. So I heard that more. Even though I did hear Blake say Avon. Which has not helped, but I'm going to say Avon. I'm not sure how to pronounce the first time. Is it Kerr? I want to say Kerr, more likely, but I'm not 100% sure. In. But it's going to be interesting, that dynamic there. And that, like, he's, they got to work out a way to, like, like, word things to him to get him to help them out and that. That was really good. I re I'm gr gr Jenna's growing on me a little bit slower than Villa, but she is growing on me. I do, a a a Avon, God, I'm down myself already. Avon is growing on me as well, slowly. But Villa is my favourite. I really like Blake, obviously. He's freaking good. But Villa is my favourite so far, which I did not think in the first episode. I really did not think he would become my favourite, but so far he is. <laughs> I'm really surprised, but I just really like him. The actor is fantastic. He's that right level of annoying. And he plays it so well. And the writing done really well. And I will say, like, with Doctor Who, Harry Nation's, like, um, writing of women's not always been 100%. He doesn't seem to didn't seem to really know how to write them properly. Like, they seemed a bit out of character compared to other episodes he didn't do. But Jenna seems really good. So far, she seems really, really good. And she's, like, confronting him and stuff like that. And it... I think it helps that it's all it's been all him hat so far, I think, isn't it? Or that he's like the over like he created the show so he gets got the over arcing like look over it and control. So that probably helps with the feel of it. Can't wait to watch the next episode and see what happens next and when are we gonna meet the new members of the crew? Of course, as always, no spoilers. But I'd love to know what you guys thought of the episode. Little tidbits here and there. I love hearing what you guys say. It's always awesome for this and for Doctor Who. Yeah, I'd love to know what you guys thought of the reaction. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You know when the next episode goes live. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye.